Yo guys, Wife Boy here, and today it's a quick video to say welcome to Arsenal, Ben White, the young English defender to complete his £50 million move from Brighton. This is a short video to quickly say welcome to the club and what I think of the transfer. As always, leave in the comment section down below your thoughts of this transfer. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I'll read them all, respond to them all, and we can just share our opinions in the comments. If you're an Arsenal fan, Brighton fan, or any other football fan, let me know what you think. So yes, it's a £50 million signing. It is completed. And what do I think of it? To be honest, now that I've thought about it, all the reasons I'm against it is not even to do with Ben White. I have reasons for it and against it. We're going to start with the against. And yes, yeah, so the first thing, of course, is the price tag. £50 million for a club like Arsenal, who have very, very stingy owners. Owners I am not a fan of personally. I don't think any Arsenal fans are a fan of in the Cron case. They do not like to spend money, meaning our budget is extremely tight. We have to be smart with our purchases. And if we're spending £50 million, which is, let's be honest, inflated on Ben White, he is not a £50 million player. He is maybe, let's be honest, a £25 to maybe £30 million player. And even that's stretching it. To drop £50 million on him, which is £20 million more than, to be honest, I'd be willing to pay, it's kind of worrying. We've definitely overpaid for this player, which, of course, um, yeah, is not necessarily a good sign. That's uh, not necessarily a good sign, sorry. Which, are, which I was saying, it's, like, it's, it's nothing to do with Ben White personally the against reason. It's just we're paying over the odds for him. The English tax exists. Teams like Brighton, Leicester, they can fleece Arsenal and all the big clubs now. They can literally say, nah, we can hold on to our assets. <laughs> You'll have to pay over now. Back in the day, they'd be happy to sell it for as much as they could. Now they can fleece us. They can finesse us. So we're paying over the odds for him, but hopefully it's for a good reason. The second reason I am against it, of course, is the positioning, right? We have, let's say, let's say our budget is between 100 and 150 million pounds which we'd be lucky to get from the Cron case. We're spending almost a third of that on a centre-back when we literally have Saliba who we've sent out on loan again. I'd rather spend that money on positions we need, aka a right-back, a, right a CDM slash centre-mid and a cam. If we can buy those three positions, then I'd, that's what I'd prioritise. Of course, you can get a centre-back afterwards, but spending mo uh, the majority of our budget, probably one of our most expensive signings this summer, on a position we don't necessarily need is worrying. I feel like this transfer... Come the end of the transfer window, we'll decide whether this is a good transfer or not, in my opinion. Once we've finished all our business, if we just sign Ben White, Lokonga and Tavares, and that's it, and then a couple of like dead loans, then it won't be a good transfer. But if we sign Ben White, then go on to sign someone like Madison and another centre mid like Awa, for example, and potentially get in a right back, then it's a good window, then it's a good signing. It all depends on our other business. If this is like our business of the summer, our main marquee signing, I'm not a fan at all. I believe it's bad business for Arsenal, but of course, if it's an additional signing on some of the other positions we need, then I'll, buy, I'll definitely, definitely back this signing. So yeah, what is the benefits to Ben White? Well, he's Premier League proven. He's played in a good Brighton side. Who, let's be honest, they underachieved last season. When we look at like XG and people that buy into that, you can if you want, but XG and stuff stats, Brighton finished much lower than they probably should have based on their stats last season, based on how they actually performed. They were quite unlucky. So Premier League proven means you can slot right in next to uh, Gabriel. Right-footed centre-back, left-footed centre-back, they're not going form a partnership. His passing on the ball is great. He's definitely a new mould centre-back. He's tall, can pass the ball out well, can pass it long, short. Definitely comfortable in possession. Definitely what Arteta wants uh, in his system. He's a player that suits it very well. He's, okay, he's, he's not the quickest, let's not lie. But he is mobile. You can't say he's not a mobile player. I've seen him. He can, he can run to an extent. Of course, he's not going to beat, and he's not going to beat players like a Dharma Traore in a foot race. He, but he can compete, and he's got a bit of muscle to him. He's got a bit of bulk, so he can use that. Uh, of course, he's young, only 23 years old, which is good. Very Next to Gabriel, who's also, I believe, 23 or maybe just 22. So they're not conform partnership for many years to come and learn off each other. And can also use experienced players like um, Pablo Mari to uh, help him, of course. And yeah, so the, that are the positives. The positives... If any, with the player, I can see more positives than negatives. It's just the surrounding parts of the transfer, including the price, position, that are the main concerns uh, for my liking. So, yeah, that's just been my thoughts on this transfer. Hopefully, Arsenal will make more transfers now because this can't be it. It's, been, it's a good signing for £50 million, but we need to make more. Of course, if you're around here, please consider subscribing on my road to 500. I'm almost, almost there. And, yeah, I've been wonderful, and I'll see you guys in the next video.